What happens when a corrupt police force is met with a quiet but unstoppable Marine on a mission? Netflix's Rebel Ridge delivers a gritty, high-stakes thriller that keeps you guessing until the final moments. Today, we're breaking down the plot, key themes, and of course, the ending of Rebel Ridge. If you haven't watched it yet, spoilers ahead. At the heart of this movie is Terry Richmond, a former Marine portrayed by Aaron Pierre. He's a man of few words, but don't let that fool you. This guy is a force to be reckoned with. The film opens with Terry speeding down a country road on his bike, only to be taken down by some corrupt local cops. From here, Rebel Ridge quickly spirals into a tale of injustice, power, and survival. Terry's mission seems simple enough at first. He's trying to bail out his cousin who's been arrested on a minor drug charge. But in this small town, Shelby Springs, nothing is ever that straightforward. His cousin is also a key witness in a murder trial and is just days away from being transferred to a state prison where he's pretty much a dead man walking. Terry can't let that happen. And what follows is an intense ride where he's forced to take on an entire corrupt police force to save his cousin. Building suspense and corruption theme. From the very start, the tension is palpable. Every scene is layered with anticipation. When will Terry finally snap? He tries to stay calm, working within the system, but you can feel the frustration building. The cops, led by Don Johnson's character, Chief Sandy Byrne, are smug, cruel, and fully aware that they hold all the power. You can see it in the way they take Terry's money, his dignity, and nearly his hope. It's this dynamic that drives much of the film's tension. Terry's greatest weapon is his ability to disarm and defuse violence. But we know that won't last forever. What makes Rebel Ridge so compelling is that it toys with our expectations. Terry is a wall of a man with military training, yet he's constantly trying to avoid outright conflict. But we know it's only a matter of time before he's forced to fight back. This movie doesn't just rely on its action to keep viewers on edge. At its core, Rebel Ridge highlights a very real issue, civil asset forfeiture. The cops are seizing money legally, or at least under the guise of legality, and they're using it to fund their own operations. That's where Summer, played by Anna Sophia Robb, comes in. She's a clerk with aspirations to become a lawyer, and she helps explain the legal jargon to Terry and to us as viewers, so we fully understand the level of corruption at play. It's not just about Terry's cousin, it's about an entire town that's being exploited. People arrested on minor charges are being held for months, evidence is being destroyed, and the body cam footage that could expose these crimes is erased after 90 days. But Terry finds the SD cards that contain the footage, and we know it's only a matter of time before the final showdown begins. The tension reaches a boiling point when Terry goes after Summer, who has been taken by the police to stop her from exposing their operation. At this point, we're locked in. Every move Terry makes is calculated. But then, the plot takes a sharp turn. Jessica, a police officer we thought might side with Terry, betrays him at the last second. Honestly, I didn't see that coming. If you were shocked by this twist too, let me know in the comments. With no leverage left after the SD cards are destroyed, it seems like Terry's finished. But then Officer Evan, who still has a shred of morality, switches sides. A shootout ensues and suddenly everything changes. The dash cam records the chief shooting Evan, and now Terry has the evidence he needs to expose the entire corrupt force. Uh, it's a tense, visceral scene. The action is raw, the stakes are higher than ever, and Saulnier's direction makes sure every punch, every shot lands hard. So let's talk about the ending, because wow, it definitely leaves you thinking. After taking out several officers, Terry manages to escape with Evan and Summer, heading to the hospital with the police hot on their trail. But just when it seems like all hope is lost, Jessica, the very officer who betrayed Terry earlier, redeems herself by ramming her car into the chiefs. In a surprising turn of events, she places him under arrest, and two other patrol cars even switch sides, escorting Terry to the hospital. It's a complete 180, and it feels like justice might actually be served. But here's where it gets interesting. The film ends abruptly, with Terry ripping out the DVR machine that recorded all the footage and holding onto it tightly. We don't get to see what happens next. Does the town's corruption get fully exposed? Does Terry finally get some peace? The movie leaves us with more questions than answers, and that's what makes it so thought-provoking. 
personally, I think the, the abrupt ending works. It's a reminder that corruption isn't easily eradicated, even when you have the evidence in hand. Review and sequel speculation. In terms of the film itself, Rebel Ridge is a standout for Netflix. It feels like a mix between a Western and a modern day action thriller with clear influences from films like Blue Ruin and even Jack Reacher. The close-up shots during the fight scenes make the action feel immersive, and Aaron Pierre's performance as Terry is both intense and captivating. He doesn't say much, but you can see everything in his eyes, the pain, the frustration, and the determination. I have to say, despite the film's abrupt ending, I'm hoping for a sequel. There's so much left unexplored. Will Summer get custody of her child? Will Evan survive his injuries? And what's next for Terry Richmond? Netflix could definitely build an entire franchise around this character. What do you think? Would you like to see a sequel? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Overall, Rebel Ridge delivers one of Netflix's best action thrillers in recent memory. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. And if you're a fan of morally complex characters like Jack Reacher, this movie will definitely fill that void. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more recaps and ending explained videos. Be sure to check out my other videos. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.